What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as you've probably already seen by the title and thumbnail, we are going to be talking about nutrition basics and talking about specifically on the lean bulk. So this is a question that comes up a lot in current times and this and that with like how to build muscle and be able to stay as lean as possible because obviously when you do a surplus, you're guaranteed to get a tiny little bit of fat. Now, basically what you gotta do is look at your current body composition. So what are you looking to do? Um, because there's only three types of people that can put on muscle mass and stay extremely lean. And this is, so beginners, because they are just literally stepping foot into the gym, their body is not ever being used to training like that, and things like that, so they are going to convert, which is building muscle pretty easy and losing fat because their body's not used to that style of training. So once they do that, that's obviously the way it goes for them. Number two is obviously ge genetically gifted people, which are like abnormal people that are genetically gifted that can build muscle and stay relatively lean, that the fat storage doesn't go into their like, around the abs or things like that, so they are genetically good, gifted to be that specific person. And number three is obviously people who take steroids, who are smashing steroids, they're in a completely different league, they're a new category, like they can build muscle rapidly and they can stay very lean, like, like stupidly, like it's, it's one of them, like you can't even compete against them because they are just like, boom, they're up there. So, so what you have to do for yourselves that aren't in those categories and you want to be able to stay lean and be able to build muscle but you want to be able to obviously think that when you're in a surplus you are going to gain some fat. Now you have to look at yourself like I said before so whether you want to actually bulk and you want to put on some mass or you want to cut and you want to get shredded. Now it depends on your personal preference on your muscle mass and how are you happy with your body composition. So how can you Build muscle, but stay relatively lean, and not build so much fat, because there is no way you can do both, okay? It's genetically not possible unless you are in those top three categories of those other types of people. So to be able to build muscle and only lean bulk, you have to just look at your calories in a very specific way. Not like macronutrients, it's basically start slow with the lean bulk, so get your TDEE, which is your task daily energy expenditure. You use that as your maintenance level and then only slightly increase it. So you're slightly gonna slowly put weight on. You will increase fat obviously because your body naturally when it puts on more mass, you're going to add more fats. Now you can't genetically do that, you can't stop that, it's just gonna happen. So whether you want to actually build muscle and put a little bit of fat on, that is the case. Like there's a period where you're gonna be sort of like bulk, cut, bulk, cut, because that's the sort of phase that you have to kind of run because you can't physically just do a gradual lean bulk all the way and not expect to gain some form of fat along the way. So, how can you do this? I would not say dirty bulk, because if you dirty bulk, that's excessive calories and that's what causes that margin to gain a lot of fat and that's what is so dirty because you gain un sorts of amounts of fats into your bodies and you just end up just getting more fat than you actually gain muscle because it's too rapidly growth. So slowly increase it. So week by week or maybe month by month, increase your calories by 100 calories until you get to that point where you are gaining weight quite good and you're not gaining fat and that's the level you need to stay at. Don't keep increasing it because if you go all the way up and keep increasing it over, over time, you will be on excessive calories for what your body uniquely needs and that's where that that margin becomes like that and you start adding that excess fat that you don't want. So again, going back to the bulking and cutting sort of style of phase. So you could bulk for three months at a slow, steady pace. As soon as you start seeing that amount of fat that you're not happy with and you wanna start cutting that down, you do a mini cut for maybe three to four weeks and that brings your body composition down. You lose the water weight, you start rendering out the fat, you start doing some high intense cardio and low intensity cardio. So what I would recommend is if you're looking at sustaining mass, you wanna be doing lifts cardio, which is low intensity, steady state. So what I would re recommend is either doing like Stairmasters for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, or treadmills on a high incline. And you wanna be looking at your heart rate to be at a 120, 130 BPM, which is a slow, it's a, it's a very slow intense, like it's not hard. It's, it's boring, yes, because it's on a treadmill, but 
that is to sustain mass a lot better and still have enough recovery for your muscles and also be in the right mindset because obviously if you do hard and high intense cardio all the time your body's not going to recover yes you can you can lose fat a lot quicker but you will lose muscle as well because you're just burning so much calories off and you're not maintaining so again with high intense cardio if you're going to do high intense cardio and you are looking at really rendering out fat quick and you're not too worried about muscle mass losing slightly then 20 minutes of literally like 30 seconds on 30 seconds off of really hard high intense stuff you know like where you're literally going full out like you are going bang and like there's no stopping you going through it and you are going to like physically feel like you're going to die so things like that like sprints prowler pushes burpees there's battle ropes there's all sorts of different combinations that you can use muscular endurance style of things to keep your muscles using and preparing that you are fully exhausting your body but do that lower time rate because otherwise if you do that for 40 minutes obviously you're going to burn more excessive calories and then therefore you're probably going to lose a lot more mass or mass than you want to intend to so again you're looking at that buck bulk cut phase it's a tough trial and test there really like on your personal preference of where you want to go with muscle mass if you're looking at bulking if you're looking at obviously just sort of like staying at the lean once you're happy with enough muscle mass then my recommendation would be to maintain Maintain your calories, so you find the balance where you are at a good neutral level of your calories that you're not gaining any weight, you're not losing any weight, and that way you'll just stay nap, you'll just stay with your muscle mass and your leanness. Obviously, there is going to be days where you go excessively over your calories, and sometimes you might be a bit under. I mean, that's okay as long as over the general long-term period you're not consistently doing that. Otherwise, your body will start adding a lot of bit of fat and things like that so you don't want that it's all about consistency so it's that slow gradual work up and that gradual back down that's all the way bodybuilding works and that's where it works with body composition and that's the healthiest way to stay with your body because otherwise you will find if it's a slow gradual and a slow gradual back down it's easier on your body to get to that neutral level it's not so forcefully and tasking onto your body as well so it's not gonna be very hard to mentally prepare you for that because it's a gradual slope it's not like a, a, a static like dirty bulk where it's like big cut sorry big big bulk big cut big bulk so your hormones and everything and your mentality is just like like that as well you're up and down like a stupid spiral so slowly do it choose your body preference on what you feel is best with your body composition if you actually wanted to build muscle build uh become more leaner then obviously go with what i've recommended to you and things like that so that is this today's video on the basics there's obviously a lot of in-depth stuff nutrition wise you can look into with genetically structured uh, macros and things like that but in simple terms it is a lot just about your calories uh, micro densing on your proteins carbs and fats they can be dependent on your personal preference and i've done videos on this before of how to make like your calories and count your macros and things like that and then choose a specific diet plan that is perfect for you for moderate carbohydrate for low carbohydrate or, or moderate um, but overall no matter which plan you go with it will give you the same type of results as long as your calories are in, in intact really so yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed that if you did make sure you hit a like comment down below anything you want to know or you want me to talk about next time and I'll see you all in another video. I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. I'm a, I'm a.